the gate of youth. Why is this gate very important? The gate be begins from the age of 12 all the way to 28. That's the gate called youth. It begins from 12 to 28. Psycho psychologically, you need to understand that between the age of 1 to around 11, 12, you are in a space called the innocent stage. The innocent stage. I love my daughter. I love my son. My daughter is four. My son is two and a half years. There is an age called terrible two, where they cry without cause. The boy can just wake up and cry, and they are not tears. He's just walking crying. <laughs> and now my daughter is four years. And what I've discovered in that age, we are controlling everything about their lives. One day, I saw how my my wife had dressed my daughter. I said, I wish, I wish she will see herself when she's 13. Purple socks. Blue <laughs> shorts. And a very heavy jacket that was gray. And then my wife told her, you look smart. And she left boldly knowing, I look smart. You cannot tell me anything. And we all remember those days where... Um, some of us who grew in real African homes, our mothers will make the sweaters and one is written, I love mom and I love dad and will walk in church holding hands and one will tell you anything. You didn't have control over your life. They will tell you a horse is a dinosaur and you look at the horse and say dinosaur because you are so innocent. Whatever you are told, you believed. Now this is the challenge. As you continued growing, as you continued growing, it, when you are growing with your parents, you are growing with what we are calling dependency. They decide your food. They decide what you wear. They decide everything. Even if you don't like pink, you'll find yourself wearing pink. And that stage, you depend on them for everything. And they say that age, the mind of a child has developed to around 99%. So when you enter 13 years, the brain begins to develop and something is formed in your brain and they call it the cognitive ability. Not only is the brain developing, but even the body is now developing. They call it adolescence, the adult essence. What is that? You feel like an adult, but you're not an adult. But you have feelings of an adult. Now life does not answer to feelings. Can we talk? So, so the adult essence is that you have the essence of an adult. You feel like an adult. You feel like a grown-up. And the truth is, you are growing. And the first development is in your mind. It is called, it's a, it's, it's a folding in the brain that causes something called cognitive ability. What is cognitive ability? Now you can recognize, you can know this is a horse. It's not a dinosaur. And, and that cognitive ability begins to separate you from what we call dependency to a language of independence. The stage called youth. Now, I don't know about you, but I believe African mothers are universal. You are just carrying the glasses to the kitchen. And the mother will tell you, break all of them. You are not the one who buys them. <laughs> Those are universal mothers. And, and, and something in you answers her, but not verbally. Because for the sake of peace, you cannot tell her, I know. But there is an answer from your heart. So what I'm trying to say, some of you, you have submitted, but your heart is still independent. Hallelujah. And that is why there is a lot of conflict between parents and their children when they enter teenagehood. Because no parent will ever believe you are mature enough to be independent. There's one day I shared an idea with my mother. At my age, I'm married. And I shared an idea with her. And she lectured me for 30 minutes. And I answered her in my heart. <laughs> so allow me to tell you this. No matter how old you become, your mother will never sit. 